Hi guys, it's Maaike. I'm back with Users Test 2022, number 14. And yeah, <laughs> the reason is I have all these pre stamped pre-cut or pre-die cut, it depends, um, stamps and digis. And some I color when I watch movies, some I, well, anywhere I have my markers with me. But I thought I should put them to good use. Because I have them, <laughs> they use your stash. Da -da. And uh, I was sorting last week all, oh, I have more than these, but I have um, now sorted them by brand and the ones uh, I could find, like Lily Besotted for my Lily Besotted Fan Month and Whimsy Fan Month, I put them back with the um, proper stamp images. This one is. Crafting as a diva is no longer in business. <laughs> I think if I ever use it, I would cut off the muffin. But here's a CC Design Monkey, and there's some Katsu Craft, there's also CC Design into my <laughs> uh, Impression Obsession, Gerda Steiner, uh, everything. That Panda is Scarbook Forever, but it doesn't matter, because <laughs> just use it. But, you know, I, I like them. And also, I have these scraps or <laughs> rejected card bases, I would say. or I'm not sure what to do with them card bases. This one, I, I, I can't remember why it's in there. There must be a smudge. And these are made last week for something else. And I couldn't decide how to use them. And that one has a smudge. I don't know how that happened. But um, I thought, you know, maybe I can disguise it. I still use it. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit off screen. I think the cows are Digi from Gooby and they're from Etsy. I think Gooby these are, yeah. But um, it's about use what you have. And, um, one of my pandas had a bit of his foot chopped off, you can see. There's no white border, so I thought I should probably use that on another card and maybe disguise it behind grass or... I don't know, I used the other one, I have two. And this one has a really thin neck where the balloon kind of bobbled over, but I, I just put extra foam tape behind it to support it, and that's fine. And I use it, I made four cards in, uh, what is it, 15 minutes with drying time, because I cut that off. And yeah, this one I'm not sure, I think it's clearly besotted gnome, Katzenkraft uh, uh, Hippo. <laughs> what is that? A hippopotamus. And now, of course, I, I actually contemplated getting all the stamp set that go with it. But I thought, hey, I'm just doing happy birthday. And I pulled out the sentiment strips, simple sentiment strips on Whimsy Stamps. And I was looking for punny ones. But yeah, <laughs> just happy birthday. We need those the most. Or thank you as well. Could be a good one. And most of them are distress ink backgrounds. But yeah, I was just ink blending them and then the stamps that I wanted to use, they didn't go in that circle on the left. And this one, the color, oof. And then I'm looking at one, that I can reuse it probably if you do sentiment strips with a little die cut banner that I'll show you later that I made in a previous video. That would have been good as well. I'm checking if it doesn't. <laughs> smudge and yeah here's where I changed it because the feet is gone and I'm using my magnet to get it straight it's like a mini ruler isn't it and um, yeah the backgrounds I made them and then I, I pulled out the images I was well, supposed to use for my design teamwork and they like them on there so I put them in my scrap pile and now I'm using them so that's one way to go about it just make a bunch and then compile them and I have these colored images so the um, leopards are my favorite things and I think I use them for my safari cards you know do I really need another yeah, I don't cat set that was I think <laughs> um, but yeah the hippo because there's many you know safari animals I think um, but then I color them and because of design team work I usually don't have the need for them. It's, it's a bit of a strange word to say, but uh, I can't use them. You know, CC Design Monkey is really cute, but I can't really use that on 
Wim Systems or uh, Create a Smile that I was a part of last year and so on. And well, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> also, I don't really create cards, you know, just for the sake of creating them. Uh, there's usually a reason or a challenge behind it or a, a challenge team work or birthday team work, whimsy work. And by that time, I have so many that I don't need to make more, do I? So, but yeah, I don't want to waste all the images and the alcohol ink that I <laughs> markers that I used up for that. But uh, here, the smart Jafalek can maybe disguise it with a branch, and it worked. I mean, you can't see it unless somebody peels off the branch. But uh, yeah. maybe the background is a bit weird with the purple. But we're not going there now. We're just about using the images and disguising little mistakes. And my happy birthday was still a little bit wet. I did heat set it, but that age is um, dangerous. <laughs> and I think they're cute, the cards. And, you know, for somebody's birthday, they, they work. I mean, this one, yeah, I liked it. It was um, like Dusty Concord and velvet and tattered rose maybe i'm not sure but um in my head it looked better <laughs> so i still have many more to do but for now i made four and i have a few more cards in my stash so maybe that will help you out that you can always rescue a card and pull them together even if they didn't make sense in your head like you planned them to does that make sense yes say yes and um so here are all the cards in a row. I will see you again soon. And until then, bye.